Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. I found this old magazine rack at a thrift store for just $4. I knew that I could use it in my home, it just needed a little love. I started by using my sanding block and lightly sanding the entire piece. Next, I cleaned the piece with crud cutter, and I sprayed the whole piece and then wiped it off. This would free it of all oil, dust, debris, and anything that I didn't want left on the piece. I wanted to give it a farmhouse look, so I started with folk art home decor chalk paint in the color Castle. I used a damp chip brush and started by painting on a single coat onto the entire piece. I let that dry and decided it needed another coat, so I went ahead and painted the thing with the second coat and then let that dry completely. Here it is after two coats of paint. Now I could have stopped here, but I wanted more of a barn weathered wood look, so I kept going. So my next step was to dry brush it, and I wanted to use Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color gray. I lightly dry brushed the entire piece with the gray wood tint. If you look closely, you can see the streaked lines that were created with the gray wood tint. I decided that I wanted to give it a little bit more than just this, so I let this dry before moving on. My next color was Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color white. Doing the same process, I carefully dry brushed the white wood tint onto the piece. I let this dry and decided I needed one more step. I used Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color Walnut. Once again, I dry brushed carefully onto the entire piece, creating a streaked look. I love Folk Art Home Decor Paint and Wood Tint. It is water soluble, so it cleans up easy and it makes cleaning your brushes really easy too. Once I got it all painted, I let it dry completely. I could have stopped here, but I had an idea of something that I wanted to do to the sides of the piece. I decided to stencil one side, so I used my Folk Art stencil. I started by centering the stencil onto the piece. I then added stencil tape to hold the stencil into place. I would be using Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color white. I carefully dipped my stencil brush into the paint and then I use a paper plate and I offload as much paint as possible. Therefore, it won't leak underneath of the stencil. I then pounce the stencil up and down over the top of the stencil so that the paint goes onto the piece but doesn't bleed underneath the stencil. I continue to do this until the entire stencil is covered. Next, I carefully peel off the stencil. I then let the piece dry completely. Now, I wanted to show another option in case you were not a big fan of stenciling. Using a Main Street Wall Creations decal, I carefully peeled the decal off and placed it on the other side. Once I got the decal where I wanted, I pressed it down. I absolutely love how both sides turned out the stenciled side, as well as the side with the decal. Which side do you like better? I am so excited with how this piece turned out, and I know it'll get a lot of use in our home. It has such possibilities of all the things it can be used for. I hope this inspires you to try some painting or upcycling of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.